Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video today, I'm gonna show you how to check for the shift time using the MF FDF equipment. Well, as you know that this is a daily task for the second officer. That's why in this video now, I will show you how to do that properly. Okay, so let me get straight into it. Well, as you can see that, this is a Pruno MF FDF. So now I will show you how to find and select the frequencies on the digital publication and then I will show you how to check that on this equipment okay so if you want to find the stations and select their frequencies you need to open the Admiralty Digital Radio Signals Volume 2 so let me show you Well, as you can see that, this is the ADP, Admiralty Digital Radio Signals, Volume 2. You just uh, double click to open this one. So, when this screen appears, you need to select and click on this icon, Thumb Signal Stations. And you can unselect another icon here so that you can easy to check the stations okay so now you need to select the appropriate signal station which uh, nearest to the venture so for example currently we are in uh, the east coast of the united states that's why i will try to select this station port collins or even the ottawa okay so you just double click on that well as you can see that this is the all frequencies for this station 2500 5000 10000 15000 20000 and 25000 and this is the mode a9w this is the power and this is the broadcast times 24 hour so if you see the mode A9W is for like a telephone mode on the MFHF and uh, if you see the mode H3E that's for AM or for CW mode like this one E3 A3W this is for AM or for CW mode on the MFHF because uh, if the pencil is using the JRC MFHF you need to change the mode telephone AM or you know the CW or even DSC okay so now I will select one of uh, this station to test my shoot time so in case if you input these frequencies into the MFHF but the signal is poor so you need to select another frequencies here or even you can select another station which uh, nearest to the pencil okay so now I will select 10,000 frequency to check my, you know, shift time. Okay. So let get back to the MFHF. I will show you how to input the station, and I will show you how to check the, the shift time. Okay. So. On the MFHF, so you need to move the knob to receive mode. Then you press on the knob. Now so you need to input the frequency which you selected before, so 10,000. Then you press on the knob. Now you need to adjust the volume.
So, as you can hear the ticking sound, right? And now you just uh, wait until you hear the voice that will confirm the hour and the minutes, and then you will hear the long beep. If you hear the long beep, that means it could change to another minutes. Okay? You hear the voice. Eight hours, six minutes, coordinated universal time. So, eight hours. At the tone, eight hours, six minutes. Six minutes. Coordinated universal time. And you hear the beep, right? A long beep. Now I will check our ship time. Just that. So now we show you how to change to another another frequency. So, for example, if this one the signal is not so good, you can change to another one, like uh, fifteen thousand. You still can hear hearing the ticking sound, right? But the signal is not so good. If you want to change that, you press on a knob and you change to another frequency, five thousand. You can hear this one is better. So just like that, and after you. Finish checking for the shift time. So you need to record that into the colometer record book. Okay. Okay, everyone. That's for that's so for me. Thank you very much for the watching. So, if you want to see more video, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in next video. Bye bye.